We're going to dig into the differences between the Liquid Freezer 240 second generation versus the third generation. In this video, we'll cover the key differences in looks and installation, and then jump into performance. These two liquid coolers both offer excellent cooling with a similar radiator look. However, the biggest difference between the second and third generation is the pump design. The Liquid Freezer 2 pump has a unique asymmetrical look, while the third generation version has a more clean and symmetrical look. In regards to insulation, both offer an industry standard insulation process with fans pre-installed on both of the cooler's radiators. In regards to the pump, the Liquid Freezer 2 is a single unit, while the third generation has a VRM fan that is separate from the pump and offers a more clean look. However, the spring used to secure the Liquid Freezer 3 cooler's pump can offer some challenges to secure on both sides of the pump's bracket. But we know you're here to see how these two coolers differ in terms of performance, so let's stay into it. We've tested both coolers over idle, high, and overclock temperatures and have two sets of charts to show you. One that looks performance normalized by percent speeds and one that looks performance normalized by sound. In our first set of charts normalized by percent speeds, we have temperatures on the left represented by the saw line, noise on the right represented by a dash line, and percent speeds on the bottom. For this graph, lower is always better. At idle, the Liquid Freezer 3, 240, and blue has some of performance relative to the Liquid Freezer 2, 240, and red. As we increase the wattage to 105 watts, we can observe that the Liquid Freezer 3 has improved performance across the board. Additionally, the Liquid Freezer 3 is noticeably louder across the board due to a louder pump. However, it's important to note that the pump on the Liquid Freezer 3 was set at 100% fan speed and can be reduced when high performance isn't required. When we push the CPU to overclock levels of 130 watts, we can see that this trend continues. Next, we will look at noise normalized charts, but don't forget to hit that like button or subscribe if you're enjoying this content. In our second set of charts normalized by sound, we have temperatures on the left, noise on the bottom, with lower being better. At idle, both coolers have similar performance for a given noise level. As we increase the wattage to 105, we can see that the Liquid Freezer 3 pulls ahead at comparable noise levels. And when we push the CPU to 130 watts, we can see that the Arctic Liquid Freezer 3 continues to show improvement over the Arctic Liquid Freezer 2. And if you're curious on how the Liquid Freezer 3 240 compares to the Liquid Freezer 3 360, you should check out this video comparing these two. 